and welcome to the standpoint. This is another opportunity for us to learn, to unlearn, to re-energize, to, to, to get information, to, to share in other people's experiences with the hope that the keys to their doors may open our doors as well. The day is getting closer. Next week is Father's Day, and today we are going to share the experiences of some fathers that will touch your heart. In May, we feature two women who are the mothers of miracle babies. Today, we are, we are going to feature two fathers who are fathers of miracle babies. What men go through during the waiting period, when the miscarriages happen, when the baby is not coming, when, when it all seems impossible, do the men feel the same way as the women feel? Uh-huh. It's going to be very exciting. Don't miss the sun point any day, any time. If you've missed any in the past, go to our YouTube channel and re have a view or abreast yourself with what we have done in the past, especially this year. I'll take a break. When I come back, we meet the two fathers. But let me say thank you to GTP for my cloth. This is new style. And my dress is made for me by Brie Redra, the one and only Brie Redra. Thank you so much to her. My hair is by Inshilot GH. Makeup by at I am underscore J Cloth. Makeup products by Not Cosmetics. We take a break. When we come back, you'll see the homie and my guests as well. We'll be back. Welcome back to the standpoint. Yes, we are going to hear from, uh, let me call them fathers of miracle babies. Yes, yes, the, the journey and the waiting period, how it was. So if you are out there, you're waiting and you think the men don't go through the emotions. We'll find out. Maybe they don't, you know. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Let me say thank you to our sponsors. JTP is still timeless. JTP is on a campaign to make sure that we buy the original, genuine, and authentic JTP fabrics. Simple. Make sure you buy from a wooden shop or any of the accredited JTP dealers, you know, across the country, nationwide. Nationwide. Or go online, www buygtp.com and make sure you buy the original, genuine, and authentic GTP. We simply call it Oga GTP. Thank you to um, SRM Balloons and Accessories. Everything Balloons and Accessories, just make sure you get in touch with them and they will sort you out. Yeah, every, I mean, balloons are for all locations. And for our Father's Month, we have some special supporters as well. And I want to acknowledge them. Now we have Pan-African Leadership Institute, PALI for short. For short. Um, it's an executive education institute providing professional leadership courses. They are running a course this year, June 2021, corporate leadership course. Um, it will be take over four, four weeks, four Saturdays. Yeah, four Saturdays. And it's an online course. And it's uh, for cross-cultural leadership, corporate um, communication, and self-confidence skills for leaders. In August, they'll be running a course for entrepreneurial leaders. And they, that's also for four Saturdays. And it's about raising finance for your business, growing your business locally and internationally, and executive coaching for entrepreneurs. And... Um, Okay, this news, I'll, 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 I'll read that one later on. But you can call the number on the screen or you can contact them on www.panafricanleadershipinstitute. PALI is an executive leadership education program. So get in touch with them. And then we have Wilma Africa as well. Wilma Africa Limited producers of naturally cholesterol-free frital vegetable oil. Frital sunflower oil, Frital seasoning, Fortune rice, Fortune ma margarine. Mm -hmm. 
Jama laundry soap and a live toilet soap appreciate all fathers for their guidance and leadership and support throughout the year. We also say thank you to Not Cosmetics who are also a supporter and sponsor for the spirit. Now let me come to the set and introduce my guest. At my extreme left is John Taylor who is a chef but came here and didn't bring me anything. He owes me cake for years and he owes me Jollof for years and owes me grills for years and he still didn't bring it. John, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you How are you and the family? Very fine. Everybody is fine. Okay. I and guess. let me put on record here my interest in this. My, you know, you need to declare your interest. Well, I cut John's wedding cake. In 2013, uh, yes. I wasn't married then. I didn't even thought about marriage, married, you know, but I cut his, you know, wedding cake at that time. And thank you very much for giving me that honor, you You're know, welcome. to do that. It was the second time I was cutting somebody's wedding cake and I'm grateful. Thank and you. we thank God for the miracle. Thank you. <laughs> Next to him, I have um, Frank Odoy Okante, right? Frank Odoy, is it yes. Odoy? Okanti, yes, who's a sales and marketing specialist, um, professional, and he's an MC and a real estate advisor. Please, I want to buy a house. Sure. <laughs> I have a house for you. Okay. <laughs> Good to have you on the start point. Thank how you for, are you? I'm well. Thank you How's for the having family? me, by God's grace. So how many kids do you have now? I have three kids now. Three kids? Yes. Okay, take your time. Where are you going to? I'm done. You look, you look, like, <laughs> you, you look like three years old yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just Give kidding. Okay. How, how, how many years have you been married? For 11 years. For 11 years. Yes. How long did it take before you had your first child? It took me three and a half years. Three and a half before years. Before we had our first girl. Yeah. Um, what was your expectations when you got married when, with regards to kids? Okay. So, um, good evening once mm -hmm. again. Um, yes, you know, I, I expected to... As soon as I had, I, I had my marriage settled in, um, to perhaps wait for like a year, yeah. and maybe enjoy like you know yes. most most couples want to do. You were and, young then. Uh, yes. How old were you? I was twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. Yeah. Great. So then you know you feel that you, I, I thought we had that one year to, you know, get to know, explore. Mm -hmm each other and like they say that when baby's coming it's mm -hmm. it's not the same. No oh, Lord. You know, <laughs> yeah. until you you're ready. So for us pretty much we gave ourselves like a year mm -hmm. to um, now start making babies. But then when we were ready, I guess God was not ready for us. <laughs> so um, it took us a second year and the third year and and if you know um, when you, when, when no one told us anyway, right. um, when you get in marriage, no one tells you that, um, children have gifts from God. Mm -hmm. And so you, you feel like, okay, I can make babies anytime I want to. Yeah. Okay. And so when that expectations did not turn up the way we expected, then a lot of things set in, mm -hmm. you know, frustrations, you know, from left and right, um, from colleagues, from family members and from your own beautiful wife or mm. husband, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, it was an experience. Mm. But then again, for me personally, I knew that it was a trial that we had to go through. Mm. And that, yes, um, my wife and I believe so much in God. We are Christians and we pray to God. But then again, sometimes you feel like God is not in the boat. Mm -hmm. But at the back of my mind, um, I knew he was, right. even though um, it was a tough time. A tough time. Yeah. Did, it, did it almost affect your marriage? Um, to a point, um, I wouldn't say yes, it did not, but... But it brought some challenges? Yes, definitely. No, but external or internal between um, the two of you? Um, so it, it came pretty much from external. Right. We had external right. challenges. Did you, did you get to the point where you started, okay, is it her or me or, you know, <laughs> those things, you know, going through your mind? Yeah, definitely. It will because, you know, um, um, getting married, you know you're fine. You yeah. know that, um, hey, you know what's up, you know, like we always feel okay, like. Yeah. But 
Um, then again, you sit up and you go like, um, is everything okay with me? And once you get to check and you know that everything is okay with you, okay. then you're asking your, your, yourself same for, right. for your partner. Okay. okay. For, 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 for your name, from your name, I take you a girl. Yes, I am. Okay. So those of us along the coastal line, you know, mm. uh, relatives have a way of asking questions. Eh? They'll start asking you, <laughs> I, did you impregnate somebody? <laughs> have you ever impregnated somebody before? You know, have you ever gotten pregnant before? Yeah. Did you get those things? Questions like, ah. Uh, okay. So for me, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> However, you know, um, yes, so I remember one time my dad called me, it was Frankie, um, um, is everything okay with you? And I'm like, dad, everything is fine. And then my dad was, you know, um, lecturing me on how to make love, to make babies. And, <laughs> okay. and, and I remember so well, he said that, you know, what? Well, all you have to do is just penetrate and release it. And I said... <laughs> And I laughed in my head. Like, I know that. <laughs> I was like, Dad, you have no idea how long I've been doing that before I got my, you know. <laughs> in fact, you, you should know? have asked him that. If you want me to lecture you on that <laughs> with regards to that area. You know, you know. But then I, I, I got the feeling from, mm -hmm. um, from parents, their concern. Right. And the fact that they feel like. You know how funny we can talk about this and laugh now? Yeah, yeah. But then I'm sure it wasn't funny at no, all. No, no, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't because yeah. you feel like uh, maybe there's something wrong with you, mm. you know. Mm. But um, we stood strong, mm. yes. And uh, yes, we have to thank God yeah. for, yeah. For, yeah. for all that trial. Yeah. And I'll, I'll get back to you on mm. that and the process, the waiting period, what you did, whether you did medicals and all those things. Did you visit the spiritual churches? Did you go to the people bring you medicines to try and all those things? We'll get into that. But <laughs> let me go to Johnny. And John, um, you've been married for what's eight, years. Yeah. eight years. Eight years, right? Yes. Eight years. You know. How mm -hmm. long did it take before you had a child? I think about well, five years after. Five years after. Yes. How was it like waiting? Uh, for me, thank you very much for the opportunity. Okay. For me, after five months after the wedding, okay. I think my wife took seed. Okay. And then the scan indicated that it was twins. Twins. Yes, so I was very, very happy because, uh, <laughs> um, in fact, I'm a last one of nine and I have not heard anybody from my that you have gotten a twin or whatever. So I was very happy. Okay. So I'll be the father of twins. And I'm sure you started even telling people. No. <laughs> you didn't tell anybody. No, no, no. I think. My friend, you told me. <laughs> I you think that, told me. That was after. That, that was, was after. after. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, so um, after three months, it just went away and then. I knew God was going to help me. In fact, I know from the fact that God has been involved with me, so I have to take time. I didn't give myself pressure. So after five years, almost every year, you have a miscarriage. So about, for about eight, almost for about six times. Within uh, the five years? Yes. About six miscarriages? Yes. So I, in fact, I didn't give myself pressure. And I was not listening to anybody. But as you said, you know, Pressure from outside. In fact, I'm happy you said you, 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 cut, you cut my kick. Yeah. The, after the wedding, I heard that, oh, they went to pay somebody mm -hmm. to come and, like, after, we, we were going to pay you for, so you can come and you be our, our guest and then, and I look at what is happening. Many, lots of things, but mm -hmm. I didn't listen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Because I you know. <laughs> <though. Well, like. laughs> yeah, so I was all the time focused. So, mm -hmm. I think 2015, that was where I shared tears. Mm. December 2015, I was, in fact, she took another one day. I was very happy. So I came down so we can just celebrate the Christmas together. And it happened. So, in fact, anytime it happened, you know, women. Mm. So I have to come in and console her. And then we, a lot of things. So I, I went out to call my, my best man, who's a pastor. Then I started sharing tears. He said, ah, Oran Para. So I was, I had to put myself and then come back. He was also waiting for me in the room. Mm -hmm. So I have to wipe away by just so that you know, that I'm even worried. Mm -hmm. So many things happened then. God, later, God came and then mm -hmm. I had one. I had one. So I'm very happy. But what, what happened within the waiting period? What are some of the things that you went through? I 
You but, said, I mean, was there no time where you felt like, I mean, what is, ask yourself, what is happening to me? Is everything okay with me? You didn't get any pressure from parents or? No, my mom, never, even today. Mm. And my in-law too, but I, but we were using both um, herbs and then hospital. So, so I had to, I signed her medicine so that I can use it for a week or a period of time. But I came down to that, it was still there. <laughs> and the same person said, having dreams, seeing, I said, no, stop seeing them. And then take the medicine. That was where he thought I was even being hard on her. Mm -hmm. So pressure, and I hear it, but I don't mind it because we don't know how I even met my wife and then how I'm feeling at that time. So never, I didn't give myself pressure because, mm. no, I hear things. I think I called a gentleman very close to me and then he said, people were doubting you on the phone. So I was wondering how... Maybe even doubting me because you don't, you're not, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't hold my organs. So how do you know? <laughs> how can you doubt me? Mm. On what ground that? So I was, in fact, I didn't want to give you attention because mm. um, what, I was okay with my wife. Mm. Uh -huh, I know we have certain challenges, but no. Okay, now uh -huh. let me take a break. When we come back, or we'll continue. Thus, we are talking about fathers of miracle babies, fathers who had to wait for a period, and um, the. Waiting period, everybody knows the waiting period is not easy. But um, fortunately for John, he didn't go through anything. I'm surprised that he didn't feel anything. Five years it wasn't happening, but he was cool. He didn't feel anything. He was cool about it. Well, of course, we are all different and we deal with issues differently. But let me say thank you to Gugot Yogot. Yogot is very good for us as human beings. Yes, normally I'll say for women, but, you know, we have the men and it's good for the men as well. And if you have to go for yogurt, it has to be gogurt yogurt. Juice time, 100% fruit juices. They have their own farms and they get the, you know, the various fruits from the farm themselves, from their own farms, and they um, juice it and give it to us as well. Puma drinks and awake purified mineral water by Casa Preco Company Limited. Of course, Cake Technique, thank you so much. Mrs. Soforipoko, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, you were darling, but that advice you give me, that I won't take it, I won't take it. But we're still sisters, you know. Thank you very much for always... Um, being there for us. Auntie Vera House of Foods, we are grateful to you. Kodam's gift and stationery, everything gift and stationery. Just Father's Day is next week. You better go there and get your father and father figures, you know, some really nice gifts from there. And we say thank you to your cleaning services who keep our environment I mean, clean all the time and make sure that's part of Father's Day. Organize some home cleaning, house cleaning, thorough cleaning for your father. I told you to do it for mama. Now do it for daddy. If my father were alive, I'm sure that's what I would do. But he would wonder, hmm, what does she want to steal from me this time? I was always stealing my father's handkerchiefs and, you know, I the stuff from him. Sometimes his cloth, you know, the cloth that they wear, you know, this and then. At the time he realized I've turned it into some skirting blouse. Oh God, may he rest in peace. It's unfortunate he didn't live long to, you know, spend my money. But hey, I thank God I made him proud. We'll take a break when we come back. We'll continue this discussion. Welcome back to the standpoint. Again, I say thank you to GTP for my cloth. My dress is by Brie Redua, the one and only Brie Redua. Thank you so much. And yes, I insist, if I'm not losing weight, blame Brie Redua. She knows how to sew, to cover all my folds and everything. <laughs> this girl will kill me, I know, for saying this. But thank you so much. To her. Thank you to Inshila G8 for my hair makeup products by Notes Cosmetics and beautifully applied by at I am underscore J Claude. Thank you so much. And my set. Mm -hmm. Beautiful set. We, I told you last week, we're giving it a garden look. And these plants, the both natural and artificial plants and flowers are by Stunning Florals and Decor. You can follow them on Facebook and on Instagram as well. Stunning Florals and Decor. Thank you so much to them. Now, to Frankie. Did you 
visit hospitals for checkups? Did you like, you know, get herbal treatments and people asking you to go and see this uh, spiritualist somewhere <laughs> and all that? You know, Whitney, right? Yes, As for I Whitney, do. I saw, I mean, I haven't, <clears throat> met, I haven't beaten her. The places she went to, did you have to go through that? Um, so, thank you, Gifty. So, I, yes, we did the medical checkups because um, that is key. Mm. And um, for my partner and I, that was all that we believed we had to do. Mm. And at any point in time, we did it together just so that one does not feel like um, it's my fault or it's mm. her fault. Um, apart from that, we are Christians. Mm. And... Um, we do not believe in going anywhere apart from going on our knees to pray to God, basically. So, right. so yes, we, 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 we prayed to God and um, um, believed that he has had us and mm -hmm. he was going to. So um, we did not get to go anywhere to you see What anyone. about traditional medicines and all? Um, so at the time, no, it never even occurred because... Mm. Um, Nobody suggested that? I uh, know, no one suggested Oh, wow. <laughs> well, who are the kind of friends you have? I need them. Yeah, so, um, you know, we were also very particular about who we talked to about mm. our, our challenges. So I don't remember... Um, we reached out to any friend per mm. se. It was it was strictly between us and our our, our family. Mm. So mom, dad, you know. But you know these things, mm. Frankie. These things. I mean, you don't have to invite them. People will come in. Mm. They themselves, from church to the pastor to, they will come. They will. They will. You know, make themselves sure. needed. Sure. Yeah. They will pass comments like, "Oh, as for this year, we are praying with you. You're right. You're <laughs> it right. will happen. And You're right. You have people, relatives, sometimes tell you, "Oh." I've heard this though. This sister, this they, they use this medicine. Oh, there's this herbal medicine they use and it works. You didn't have anything. Um, yeah, so we did not get all those uh, suggestions and all that. However, yes, we we had comments like, "Okay, your wife is put on weight. We hope the baby is coming soon." And and you know, six, mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine months down the line, yeah, mm -hmm. there is no show. And uh, sometimes wifey comes back from work and She's you, you know that, yes, mm. you know that something went on. You know that um, there is either um, an, 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 a baby Christian in mm. uh, or someone is just giving back. And I remember so at some point in time, um, three of her colleagues in her office, you know, um, that we got married before they did, mm. um, got pregnant. Um, as one had delivered, the other was pregnant. Yeah. And whilst the second had delivered, the yeah, third, third one was pregnant. And so you can just imagine being in such an environment. So yeah. the pressure was bad. And definitely because um, we were in this together, it got to me yeah. at, at most of the time. Because then, um, you know, there's one thing I cannot stand guilty. Um, seeing a lady cry mm. and you feel like, wow. Um, okay, then I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't let me leave this video. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it got to me, you know, and um, you can only mm -hmm. console mm -hmm. and, and say that. And I remember one time I said that, you know, babe, you know what? When we start having kids, we're going to have as many as we want to. That is if you want to. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes, the pressures mm -hmm. came from left to right. But family. emotionally, mm -hmm. how did you have it? For women, the emotional period, I mean, gets intense whenever we see our flow, monthly flow. Hey. <laughs> you know, uh, I do. <laughs> Thank when, you. For, the women, for women, you get they it, it really gets to you. The emotional and psychological torment really happens when you see your flow. But did you also, as a man, <laughs> go through those emotions when she tells you or you see that she's in her message or like every month you're just oh god, this as for this month, don't let it <laughs> let it, you know. We have a joke when I went to front of my girls and we have a joke that you know. When you are in school, you are praying that your messes come all the time. Yeah. But when you get married, you pray that it doesn't come. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I remember. I remember. Um, yes, I do. Um, um, it's, it's, I mean, every month was like a trial, you know, like mm. uh, when you are paid, right after you are paid, you know, you need to um, either be paid at home again with mm. uh, either um, a flow. And when, when it comes like that, everybody's not happy. And at some point in time, you know, you see faces and you know that, yeah, the thing came. Yeah. And that means that you, you as the man have to also reinforce. And, you know, it was, it was very stressful, Gifty. 
to the point that you know um you know there is a time for you to make love to your wife to you know when mm -hmm. when she is um ovulating. Uh, ovulating and all that and that was when i got to learn about all that and it became like chore, you know, where mm -hmm. you have to... Yeah, I was going to ask that. Do you, they affect your sexual life? Because, you they, know, the women sometimes, it affects you. Uh, I keep having sex, but <laughs> nothing is happening, you know. What's the point, you know, it, sometimes it, it affects you. It did so mm. well. because and, and when you're doing it, you're like telling God, this one... If we're happy. You know, something got to come out, you uh, know. Like, boys, and, you need to play. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And so when you know that, at at the end of all your 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 workout, you know, mm -hmm. and sometimes you know you got to sweat <laughs> to convince yourself that you know you're the man. You're gonna make something out of this, <laughs> and at the end of the month, you know, it comes, mm -hmm. and then you need to start again. Mm -hmm. And at some point in time, you feel like you know what, uh, maybe. Did it even did they affect your social life in a way? Like going out with the guys and all that. And you know, I mean, you talked about your wife, you know, also. I mean, I love the way you say your beautiful wife. You know, I mean, her friends getting pregnant and all that. And then you, the guys as well, you know. you know, I know how sometimes guys will take, oh, Charlie, <laughs> wife is pregnant, you know. I saw the goal yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. You know, did you also go through that when you um, meet the guys? So, and so maybe, fortunately for me, um, I, one, one of my friends said that, you know, Frankie, you know, three years, you've not married. You've not gotten babies, but as for me, um, I don't think I can stand this. So I'm going to make sure I impregnate the girl before I get married to her. Because, you know, and, and that was where I realized that, hey, we, we all had fears, okay, but um, I believe that God was going to do it. Yeah. Um, I did not have that, um, that conversation much with friends, mm -hmm. especially my boys' boys. Mm -hmm. yeah. John, with you... Um, it wasn't her first pregnancy. Not all. She had gotten pregnant and, you know, lost it. And everything. Did, with your, did she also have the miscarriages? No. no, it wasn't happening it at, wasn't all. at all. How, but you, it happened and then yes. she had miscarriages. Yes. So this one, when it happened again, how did you feel? Did you have fears that if you are not careful, she'll miscarriage again? Or you were very sure that this one was going to stay? In fact, this one, we, by then, we have been uh, recommended by a doctor. Okay. To, to a doctor, so that was where we asked to do um, sacrilege okay. uh, to prevent it from. So we did that one, and I was very sure after the, that he was going to succeed. So after everything, this boy came. Okay. Uh -huh. So when that one came, there was no at all because I knew it was going to. Okay. Uh -huh. so but the, the journey, the nine months journey, how was it for you? I had to leave Kipus and come down because mm. almost every day I have to be with there. Mm. Everywhere I was to, if I need to even write a letter to absent myself from work. Mm. Uh -huh. So, from day one, so that the day it was a Saturday, mm. I was with her. Mm. I didn't want to change her at all because I was, in fact, she was even afraid to, to sleep alone. Mm. That was where I have to even come in. Uh -huh. mm. Yes. Okay, okay. And then the day your baby was born? Mm. Uh, a day was Friday evening. You no, know, Friday early morning we saw some signs. By then you had some programming. Is it Osudoku somewhere? Mm -hmm. So I prepared two days before. So when I saw the signs, I have to hold on. We're waiting for the mom to come down, but she came very late, around 6.30. Mm -hmm. Then together I went to the hospital. Uh, so I was not allowed I was not allowed to spend the night with her. But the mom prayed that she was. So I came home around 3 a.m. dawn, my in-law called me that. Still, so I had to rush and I even called my, my pastor and he mm -hmm. prayed for me. So I rushed to the, <laughs> the facility and then he was still. I got there before 6.30, up to 2.45 mm. and then the baby came. Mm. So I was very happy. Mm. Uh -huh. But you don't look like you were happy. <laughs> I was because, in fact, I was. I had to put myself together from day one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was working within myself and in my mind. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> I said I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me take another break. Here we be coming, continue. Let me say thank you to Good God, your God, Jews time. House of Food, Mrs. Oforipoku and the family, thank you so much. Thank you to um, 
Puma drinks and Awake Purified Mineral Water, our website, www.thestandpoint.com.gh, is powered by Dream Oval. We are also support, but supported by Kodam's Gift and Stationery, Everything Gift and Stationery. Just get in touch with them and they will sort you out. Yep, Cleaning Services, they are the cleaning expert. Whatever the event, just call them. They'll clean before, during, after. They will just do it and they do it perfectly. Thank you to all of them and again i say thank you to stunning florals and decor for my beautiful plants and flowers we are so so grateful to them and we are also supported by afrax classicals they deal in beautiful bags and shoes and you know sunglasses you know if you follow me on social media i do you know um wear a lot of stuff from them and then closets closets they do the abaya kaftan and other dresses and beautiful they've got beautiful stuff follow her on instagram or on um facebook she's very very or you can follow afrakuma mohammed on, on social media and get yourself you can get some nice shades and you know belts and you know wallets for your father your husband you know this is your womb buy for the husbands i'm just kidding <laughs> or any father figure in your life you buy for them as well we take a break when we come back we'll find out from frankie when it finally happened we we'll take a break we'll be back shortly Welcome back to The Standpoint. Yes, I'm talking to John and a Frankie. Hey, do you know that on the 11th of July, yes, just next month, The Standpoint is going to be 13 years. Yes, 1-3, 13 good years, 13 years of consistency and giving you quality, informative, educative, empowering programs. 13 years, week after week. Wow. So on the 10th of July, we are having women called to worship. Yes, this time we are going to have the face-to-face -face one at the Trinity Baptist Church, 10 a.m., 10 a.m. prompt. We are going to have women called to worship. Who is going to be the speaker? You'll find out soon. Who are some of the usual suspects going to minister? So far, we have Ohima Messi confirmed. We have... Um, um, Cynthia Macaulay, Pastor Cynthia Macaulay. We have um, Lydia Apar confirmed and so many of them. Well, you see the promo very soon and you know who it is. We need to give thanks to Nyamia Ibio with all that has happened. Last year, we couldn't do it. We, we had a virtual one. But, oh, Pastor Joe Beecham is also coming as well. That's confirmed. So it's going to be a wonderful worship time. Hmm. Who do you want to be the speaker? Do you want to hear T.A. or what's the other thing he says? <laughs> Who do you want as a speaker for the event? Anyway, we'll put it on social media so you'll find out soon. But let me say thank you to GTP. Still time that GTP is on a campaign to make sure we buy original, genuine, and authentic GTP. Just make sure you buy from any wooden shop or any of the accredited GTP dealers nationwide or go online. I love to do that. www.buygtp.com and get the original GTP, the proper ogre. Thank you to Esteron Balloons and Accessories. Everything Balloons and Accessories. Just get in touch with them. They are at Mokola, just opposite the Rollins Park. No, actually adjacent to the Rollins Park. And they have another branch at Airport. Um, how do they call it? I think West Airport or East Airport. Okay, around the um, Palace Mall, you know, where the Assemblies of God Church is, right opposite it. Uh, there's a story building, the Esteron Balloons and Accessories, they are up there. So we'll patronize them and uh, please keep supporting and sponsoring at Fall. Women Call to Worship will come to you for support. Please, 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 please support us. We need it. Now, let me acknowledge some special sponsors who have come on to support the Father's Month programs. And they are, one, 
Pan-African Leadership Institute, PALI. It's an executive um, education institute providing professional leadership courses. In June, they have a corporate leadership course for four Saturdays. It's a cross-cultural leadership, corporate communication, and self-confidence skills for leaders. And then in August 2021, that's this year, we have entrepreneurial leadership that will also take four Saturdays. Raising finance for your business, growing your business locally and internationally, and then executive coaching for entrepreneurs. And they have two scholarship offers, which I am going to give to my two panelists today. You are getting a scholarship for June. Frankie, you are getting a scholarship for June for corporate leadership course. Yeah, from Pali. I'm giving it to you. And John, uh, did I say, no, Frankie. Okay, John, you are getting the scholarship for August Entrepreneurial Leadership course, you know, from Pali. So that is it. Thank you very much, Pali. Now you can enroll those of you watching, since you haven't been on my set yet, enroll today at www. Uh, Pan African Leadership Institute, or call the number that's on the screen now. And Pali is an executive education program. And then we have Walmart Africa. Now, Walmart Africa Limited, producers of naturally cholesterol free Fritol vegetable oil, Fritol sunflower oil, Fritol seasoning, Fritol um, everything, <laughs> Fortune rice, Fortune veg margarine. Um, Jama laundry soap and a live toilet soap appreciate all fathers for their guidance, leadership, and support for their families. Thank you so much to them. And thank you to GTP as well, who have given us a gift for our fathers throughout this month. Thank you to Esther and Balloons for the hamper and also Standing Florals as usual. We are thankful to... Um, not cosmetics as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, Frankie. Thank you, Fee. Where were you when you heard the news that it has finally happened? <laughs> I think I was right there because... Um, okay. Um, okay, so maybe I was not. So um, on, a, on, on a couple of uh, reviews, you know, uh, we were trying, we were doing what we had to do. And um, one afternoon, so my wife calls me and she goes like, uh, guess what? I'm like, guess what? I said, guess what? I just left the hospital. I said, you're pregnant? I was like, yeah, you know. And Were you able to drive home that day? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was excited, yes. I, I drove home mm -hmm. with smiles all over my face and... Um, then when, he, when I got home, I wanted to get the details of food. So what happened? When you entered? What did the doctor, you know? Yeah. When, it, when it's good news, you, you want to know you every bit of it. <laughs> yeah. So by God's grace, yes, um, there was a baby in there and uh, was kicking already. Mm. So... Did you start thinking, I'm just teasing you. You think, okay, how did I do this one? I'm, I'm just teasing you. But the nine months journey... Mm. How was it like for you? Okay, so um, I had expectations, and and by God's grace, yes, the expectations came well as I expected. Mm. So um, you know, sometimes when people are carrying babies, um, it comes at all sort of mm -hmm. um, you know my waist, yeah. um, the spade, and all that. Those were things that um, I told God I cannot, you know, handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So it went smoothly, it went smoothly. For me, uh, unlike John, um, it was the first time that my yeah. wife got pregnant mm -hmm. after three and a half years. So for me, that was it for me, you know, mm -hmm. and um, had to accompany my wife for each of the reviews, you know, doctor says, don't do this, babe, please don't do this, mm -hmm. I'll do it, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and it was a smooth journey. Did she rub it in a few times? The thing that she's supposed to do, cry, she says she can do it. <laughs> I did it anyway. <laughs> so, so I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> a funny bit, right? She will kill you when you get home. <laughs> a funny bit. 
funny bit, man. The doctor says I should eat wache, you know? <laughs> I said, no, I didn't hear that one. I didn't no, hear that, that one. That, that one was pesta <laughs> cravings, you know? <laughs> yeah, but, but, but Gifty, it was, it was smooth. Mm. Um, everything went well yeah. until... You had no fears during that because, you know, they will tell you the first trimester is tricky. You know, the first three months is always tricky. You didn't have any fears... Um, no, I did not. Even though um, I, I, my fears was getting to the end, mm. okay, because I lost my sister through um, childbirth um, when she was delivering her baby, Whoa. and so okay. I told myself I that I told myself that I was going to go all out and I was going to be at the um, the labor ward on the day. So for me, I was looking up to that, <clears throat> and and I did. You were in the labor ward. I was there. I was there. And I took the videos and everything else. You are a strong man. I, I, I had to. God made me strong. <laughs> <laughs> it was such an experience. But finally, when baby came out, um, um, it was, I mean, I was humbled. I'm mm. like, wow. Was it a girl or a boy? It was a girl. Girl, okay. Yeah, it was a girl. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine she's a daddy's girl, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, well, they are all daddy's girls. Yeah, so I have two girls. <laughs> two and, girls, and, okay. And, and, and finally a boy. Okay. And, um, and So after the <clears> first one, how long did it take before the others came? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. So mm -hmm. this one, I don't know how it happened, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but within, um, I think, about 10 months, my wife got pregnant <clears throat> again, yes. Okay. So I did it before you did it, actually. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it happened so quick. Then I told my wife, I, was, I told you. After the first baby, 10 months, then yes. the second one came. And the second one okay. came. Okay. And, and then the third one. And the third one, it took us uh, two years because, you know... Okay. Um, because of the process we went through, my, my, okay. my wife went through... Um, for the for, second one. For the second one. one okay. And so even the first know. and the second one, um, <clears throat> the doctor advised that we waited a little. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah. so we had to wait, wait. for, okay. for help. So it wasn't like it didn't happen. It was something that this time you deliberately made the effort to wait yes. for it too. Okay. Yes. John, mm -hmm. I'm sure you also have expectations, right? Yes. Please. You know, the first one has come. How old is he now? Okay. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. have they started telling you when is the next one coming? No. I <laughs> Nobody has asked the question. <laughs> I, See, you have it easy. Yeah, no, I, I don't have it. I didn't have it easy. It's still not easy. Sometimes <laughs> they will say it and they really want you to hear. But some of the things I used to feel bad was I, I was a friend and I saw him, his Sanders and his wife Sanders and the, and the baby Sanders. Mm -hmm. So I said, when am I going to see? Yeah. Uh, that was, and when I see a, a woman pregnant mm. like this, see, when I was going to see my wife, to my coming up like this, mm. so I was expecting that one day it will happen. Mm. And in fact, I was going through pain, but I was like the, the sheep. Mm -hmm. I'll be sweating, but <laughs> who will see her? Yeah. So <laughs> I was, I didn't want to, I was challenging myself, I didn't want anybody to see. So right. I, I, I cry. Yeah, inside Immediate, you kept yes. everything uh -huh. within you. That's why I'm so happy. But at times you see uh, many people, but I also believe in local medicine, traditional medicine, like you mm. said. So we're going to hospital and they're still blending Adding the two. The... Uh -huh. Because I, I believe in that. Mm. Apart from prayer, I also believe you have to also, after praying, make a move and then also. So that something will happen. So mm -hmm. I was not only focusing on hospitals and hospital, other things. Yes. You were just uh -huh. doing the herbal treatment yes. as well. But in conclusion, what have you got to tell to people who are waiting to have their children when the miscarriages come and all that, especially men, what they go through? What have you got mm -hmm. to say? Thank you very much. I would say that, I mean, God has time for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if, you know, certain people, even they, you hear that, Maybe their, their mother wants to bring another woman for them to quickly, mm. maybe if your wife is not able to give it, then somebody might even come in and fill the, the mm. space for her. Mm -hmm. But for me, no. So I, I, what I would say is that if you are in this, just don't give yourself pressure. Mm. Relax. Even if you don't get what you can, you can adopt. Yeah. Mm. So for you to, if you're not careful, 
you 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 take one leg outside and then when you come back, your wife also has gotten one. Mm -hmm. So now you'll be in trouble. Mm -hmm. So you if take to take care of two <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> yes. Maybe the outside yeah. will get to it and the wife will also get triplet and then <laughs> you will find yourself in trouble. <laughs> so I will say that whatever is happening <laughs> in fact I will say this, I salute my in law. Yeah. She never gave me pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. But my mom was saying that what she wanted to hear is that you are giving bed. When she started when the, the seed, she doesn't want anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that if you are a man out there, if you are going through this, relax. Mm -hmm. but get to a journey so that will help you to get what you want. Okay. Uh -huh. Frankie, your comment. Hi, Gifty. So um, thank you. I would say that um, life does not always go as we expect it to be. Um, um, we're never told that when we get married, mm. um, we're going to give birth this quick or that late. Yeah. But I believe that kids are also blessings from God. Yeah. And um, we need to be patient. You know, once you have Jesus in your boat, and I believe so much about that, mm. yes, there can be the storm. People will say things and all that. But um, we don't have to focus much on that. And I also... Um, and treat parents and families to support um, 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 couples who are in such situations because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes when you're so desperate, it never comes. Yeah. You know, you need to relax. Yeah. And I'm sure we all get our share of yeah. what God has given us. Indeed. Thank you. Indeed. Well, we want to wish you a happy Father's Day. You said happy Father's Day in advance. Oh. We are happy for you and we appreciate <laughs> This is oh, for you beautiful. for Father's Thank Day. Thank you so much. From Ashram Balloons Thank and you Accessories. So much, Please put it down. <laughs> and then this is also, this one is too heavy. You know, this is also a hamper from Walmart Africa. Ooh. You know, it has all the goodies in there. Can you please put it on the side for me? And then we have some soaps also from Walmart Africa. Thank you so here much. For you. Thank you. Thank and you. then. <laughs> this is for wifey makeup from Nut Cosmetics. Whoa, all and this. finally, thank you. This is a cloth, twelve yards from GCP. Do you know the name of this cloth? No, please. Okunupa. Okunupa. A good oh. husband. Great, thank you so you know, much. So <laughs> this is for you from GTP. Thank you, thank you, you so know. much, GTP. And wifey, when he gets home, don't worry, you can get six yards for the sledding cover. We always cheat them, you know, that's fine. You know, and then, John, this mm. is also for you. Mm -hmm. You get the same thing. Thank and you. And some balloons and accessories. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then give it to John as well. This Thank is from you. Walmart Africa. Thank you. It has all the, the oil, the margarine, yeah. the um, <laughs> yeah, spices, yeah. shrimp spices, mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, this is soap from Walmart Africa and then for YT as well. Thank and you. then you get this one. This is yours mm. from GTP. Mm. That's also 12 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. we say happy Father's Day. Thank we you. We thank God that you are fathers. Thank you. May you not be fathers in the name of just having children, mm -hmm. but being there for them, raising them in the godly way mm -hmm. that they become responsible adults, that they can be proud of you and speak of your name everywhere they find themselves. Sure. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Gifty. Thank you for all these amazing things. My, I, I guess my wife is going to ask me, did you say you're going to Standpoint or you went for shopping? shopping. Where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, Gifty. Um, we, 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 we had it. We, we appreciate this. Mm -hmm. And thanks to all your amazing sponsors for, for being there for you. And um, happy birthday coming for the 13th. 13 years of standing. 13 years of standing. Yes. Um, yeah. um, God bless you. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, I'll be back with a bit of me.
yes, men also do cry. Fathers cry. Daddies do cry. And yes, a few times I saw my daddy cry because he couldn't provide something for me or because I was demanding something of being, you know, the rebel that I am being, you know, unreasonable and insisting that certain things should be done for me when he couldn't do it. Men do cry. Men do go through their own challenges. Men do have their doubts. Men do have their moments, emotionally draining moments. Yes, they do. Society puts so much pressure on men sometimes that they, they are forced to hide their true feelings. It does have a negative effect on them. When you master the act of pretending or masking your true feeling, it affects you negatively. And if you're not careful, it gets you to do things that you're not supposed to do. Fathers, we celebrate you this month. Yes, we should celebrate you always. And most of the time when we are talking about Father's Day or Father's Month, we are telling what fathers must do and what fathers must and shouldn't do. But today I just want to say, fathers, I salute you. Wherever you find yourself, strive to make a difference. Dare to make a difference. Break the stereotype. Don't be like every other father. The waiting moment for most people to become fathers is not easy. But most of the time they go as if it's okay. Yes, I do blame them when they are not able to stand by their wives and are quote-unquote made to go and take another woman or go and try their sexual proudness on other women. Because it is your choice. Irrespective of the pressure that is put on you, you're a grown man. It is your choice. It is your decision. But there's not a period to talk about the fault of fathers. This is a time to talk about the positives of fatherhood. When we pray, we say, Our Father who art in heaven. So yes, we respect fathers and we celebrate you this month. Keep being you. Keep doing your best. Keep being unique. Keep providing. Keep giving the guidance. Keep being loyal. Keep being honest. Keep setting the example for your sons and your daughters. I'm a woman with super crazy faith in God. I know we all have our faults. Fathers do have their shortcomings. They have their failures. But I also know God has given us wisdom. Let's apply it. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.